mine everyone so we're back in Portimao now where we're staying with my parents my dad just dropped us off at a place called Praia do Val we've actually been to this beach before but the plan today is we're gonna start at Praia do Val and then walk all the way up to a popular beach called Praia da Rocha the most popular one here not sure how long that's gonna take but yeah we'll find out this way yeah, I think so. there I think we can go down there Carol's got our Uniform. new merchandise. <laughs> Let me see it. Jumping places. Jumping places. So we've had the merch for a while, but we could just never receive it because we were in the Philippines. Yeah, due to COVID, they were not uh, delivering to the Philippines, but now we we're finally able to buy them. Yeah. And you, you, you bought some, but it's still on the way. Yeah, we're waiting for mine to arrive. It looks like the restaurant that was here is closed this time probably because of covid but here is the nice big beach time we were here we we stayed at this part but all these rocks were in the water because the tide was high so yeah completely different today oh this is cool check it out we got like a, a cave want to check out the cave <laughs> yeah. all right got a hole in the ceiling as well I don't know how deep this is. <laughs> I don't think I can go any further. Yeah, so here in the Algarve, you get loads of like caves like this everywhere. All right, yeah, another cave. Yeah, we've never been to any of these places before, right? No. We didn't come last time. There's loads of them, look at Look at this one in here. I can see dog's paws. <laughs> Where does this go? Whoa. So check how cool this is. You have all the shells. Many shells and rocks. That must be there like thousands, thousands of years yeah. or more. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's a cool one. So nice. Yeah, the whole thing. Like all shells stuck in the, in the rock. Here as well, smooth one. beach right here is called Praia do Alemão but we're actually going the wrong way at the moment Praia da Rocha which we want to go to is the opposite way that way so yeah we're gonna head that way now I like the sound of the crashing waves yeah I think the last time that we came to this area I, I don't think there were waves like that no it was calm right, it was calm, right? yeah I prefer it like this Yeah, so not only you get the caves, you also get these big rocks just in the middle of the beaches. And yeah, it's still pretty similar. You still have like these little tunnels and stuff. <laughs> it's a very different kind of beach. Don't think I'm gonna go out of this way though. It's like a doorway to the, the ocean. 
Yeah, so last time we came to this beach, we ended up staying around this area. And we remember that this cave here has a cool hole in the top of this rock. So yeah, we're gonna check that out. Yeah, so just inside here. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Yeah, they have loads of signs on the beach saying not to sunbathe near the rocks because they still fall because of the erosion. So yeah, you do have to watch out. I'm just gonna be coming in here knee height. I'm not gonna go any deeper. I didn't bring any swimming shots anyway, only normal shots. But I absolutely love this place though, this beach. I'd say it's one of the best beaches I've ever been to. It's actually multiple different beaches because as I mentioned before, when the tide is high, it separates out loads of different beaches. So I'm not even sure what all the names are. But right now with the low tide, it's pretty much just one big beach, just one big strip. And all the way down, you have the amazing orange cliffs. So yeah, that's why I love it here. Pretty strong waves as well today. We actually saw some surfers and bodyboarders before. So yeah, you can do that here. The waves are big enough. Carol's found her chill spot. Yeah. It's the perfect we weather for sunbathing, right? Yeah, sunbathing, yeah. There's a little bit of wind, but it doesn't make cold. It doesn't make us cold. It's like room temperature, like 20 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Yeah, so perfect. And I thought it was just going to be freezing the whole time, but from what my parents said, if, um, if it's a clear day, like clear skies and not so windy, it's pretty much like this. You can still go to the beach, I think, even in the winter. So yeah, we'll find out because we'll be here for November and December. All right, cave number 10. <laughs> now this is cool, right? Praia da Rocha is just behind that big rock here. That's what Rocha means, it means rock. So there's actually two ways you can get there. There's a little like tunnel over there, but I think you have to go on your knees or something. Or you can just walk this way when the tide's low. So yeah, we're doing the easier route. <laughs> or you can swim. Or you can swim around, yeah. I'm not going to be doing that though. Or you can also walk at the top. They have a great walkway that goes all the way down the coast, even further than where we started. So yeah. that's another option. Yeah, this is a great thing about the Algarve because almost every place we go here, they have a walkway that you can walk. Yeah, it's like... You don't want to walk on the beach. Yeah, exactly. Great walkways. Come to a nice restaurant right on the beach. It's called Ma Isol. We actually ate here last year, right? Yeah. And I got this here. So this is sea bass that was 750 euros. And you got golden bream, right? Yeah, 790. 790. So like tomato sauce. I think they said is that Algarve style? Yeah, that's In the tomato name of sauce. The dish. Yeah. yeah. 
So the fish was delicious as always. Carol's Algarve style with the tomato sauce was, uh, was a lot better than mine though. So yeah, definitely recommend getting that. And right now we're going to some fort that we've never been to. I think it might actually be that just there. So yeah, we're just walking up the top now and yeah, we should be able to get there. So we got the old fort walls here. It's a tiny fort apparently. You don't have to pay anything to go in, go inside. What does that say up there? Miradoro de Santa Catarina. Miradoro means viewpoint, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. That looks pretty nice though with the, the arches. Oh, that must have been like the old church inside, I guess. There's not much of a fort here anymore, right? Oh, it's, it's like just, a house. Yeah, like and a viewpoint. Actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, check out this old school cannon. Yeah, but you do get some pretty good views from over here. So this is the river Aradi and over there is Fejagudo. So we made a video there once on that beach over there. And that's the castle, the cool castle. What was it called? Castello de... São Jorge, I think. São João. Jorge. Jorge. I, <laughs> I don't know. Don't Either Jorge or João. Yeah. Here's a bit of information. Fortaleza da Santa Catarina. Constructed in 1621. Oh, you can go up. I think so. Oh, cool. Even better viewpoint. I don't think anyone else noticed this place. <laughs> yeah, you get even better views there of Praia da Rocha, the entire beach. So that's it for this video just a few hours at the beach we're just waiting for my dad to pick us up now we could walk back but it's about 45 minutes i think and yeah we've already done a lot of walking so easier for him to just pick us up and i'm not sure what the next video is going to be but yeah still plenty more to come from here in that algarve so once again just thanks for watching drop a like to support us subscribe if you like to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and i'll see you in the next one